Climate change is a global emergency and international agreements are crucial in fighting it. But to most people, the jargon used at climate talks is baffling. Among the most complex areas is LULUCF, which stands for Land Use, Land Use Change and Forest. In its simplest form, this refers to the impact that fields and forests have on the climate. This may seem like a niche area of interest to only a handful of specialists, but it matters to us all because destroying forests and clearing land for agriculture releases vast amounts of greenhouse gas emissions into the atmosphere, around a fifth of the planet's total. That's more than the emissions created by all the cars, ships and planes in the world combined. But just as deforestation causes climate change, so protecting, maintaining and restoring forests, wetlands and damaged agricultural land can prevent it. Because trees, plants and soil all absorb and store large amounts of carbon. Right now, the European Union is at a crossroads in deciding how to deal with LULUCF, or to put it another way, how it measures and reduces emissions from land and forest. The consequences of the decision will be profound. If the European Union decides to mix measuring carbon from forests and land with carbon from burning of fossil fuels, it could be disastrous, leading to less CO2 emissions being reduced overall and doing nothing to protect the forest. This is because emissions reductions from forests and land will be used to avoid the more difficult task of cutting down on fossil fuels. In reaching its decision, the European Union must recognize that the carbon absorbed by trees and fields from the atmosphere does not cancel out emissions from fossil fuels. Removals of carbon from fields and forests are temporary because they naturally release carbon as they die. But the emissions from burning fossil fuels stay in the atmosphere for centuries. The path for the European Union is therefore quite clear. Emission reductions from LULUCF must be accounted for separately to those from fossil fuels. To tackle climate change, we must urgently reduce fossil fuel emissions and protect and restore forests and other ecosystems. Not one or the other. This is the only way we can avert catastrophic climate change while protecting the forests that are essential for our health and well-being.